The submission process for Juros is a very easy one. From your favorite browser, type in juros.osu.edu, and this will take you to the Journal of Undergraduate Research at Ohio State homepage. From here, you can register. To register, you go to the fourth tab over and click on register, and this will set up your account. You will have to fill in all the required fields, such as for username, be Brutus, Buckeye, you can have a password, salutation if you want, your first name, your last name, and all of these non starred fields are optional. Affiliation if you want to, such as the Ohio State University. And you can have a signature if you want. And then you're going to have to put in your email so it can send you a confirmation email. So. And then if you go down here at the bio statement, you can put your department and rank and what other information you want to put about yourself for the website. Right here, this box is checked as send me a confirmation email including my username and password and it will go to your email and you can confirm it there. And this is where you'll select author so you'll be able to submit your manuscripts and if you want to also be notified by email whenever the issue of the journal is published you can click reader as well and from there all you do is click register and then now you will just be registered on Juros as an author here you can click on new submission so you can submit your new manuscript There are many fields that you need to cover from here. The section, you can either click Juros Science and Technology or Juros Arts and Humanities. For the submission checklist, you need to make sure that all of these are checked before you proceed so that all of the contents are ready to go. So you need a cover letter, a contact page, an abstract, an intro to my research, that are all included in the submission and a confirmation that the text adheres to the stylistic and bibliographic requirements outlined in the author guidelines and there's a link right here that all the forms have been completed and if you are submitting a peer-reviewed section of the journal um, there's an inst the instructions to the blind review have been followed and a link is right here and then all of the licenses and agreements that are highlighted here you need to check that and once you read next you can read all your copyright notices your ethical considerations and your general copyright restrictions once you have read that and you have agreed to it you can check this box and if you have any comments for the editor you can uh, do that as well but that is optional and you can click save and continue from here you will upload the submission so first you uh, choose the file on your computer so we'll go to my documents where I saved it and it will be under test manuscript and I put test manuscript comma Buckeye dot one, which is my email and then dot number. And you can click upload. And now you can see has it has been uploaded. And you can click save and continue. 
from here the metadata for the submission this is all of the um, information like such as the title and the abstract and if this is in different languages you can index your um, language with French for FR Spanish for ES or additional codes that are found here if you have any agencies that provided um, support or funding for the work you can write them or type them down here other than that you can click save and continue and then if you have any other supplemental files to add to a submission um, it can be like data sets or just anything that supports your um, manuscript you can submit them here but if you don't have any you don't have to and then once you get to this last step it's confirming the submission you check that everything's alright and then you click on finish submission and then now submission is complete